Hi everybody, hello, it's another lovely hot sunny day in England, which is smashing. So what better than to be sat under these lights playing with your stuff? <laughs> but sometimes you just can't wait, can you? Ta da oh, been waiting for these. Um, the lovely Anna that sent them to me, as, uh, she said, have they arrived? Do you like them? And I said, they haven't actually come yet. So I think they got held up at um, UK Customs a bit, but uh, they're here now, so that's all that matters. Do you know what I love about these boxes when they just open like that? They, they're stuck enough for transit, but I don't even have to peel that thing off. So if I do any giveaways, I can use this because it's all packaged nicely. And look what she sent. She said, would you like to try these or, or what would you like to try? And I said, I'd like to do these because I've not had any gel paints. Obviously, I've got the polishes, but no paints. Uh, I said, and I've not actually got an application brush that's from Madame Graham. So I'd like to have a look at one of those if if that's okay. And she said, yeah, fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, she says, I'd like you to try them. I think you'll like them. I said, I'm sure I will. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice big um, cover. Lid. <laughs> nice big lid. I suppose it is a cover, isn't it? Right, I can't get that off. So... Oh, it's nice and flat. Oh, nice and flexible too. So I'm gonna do some swatch sticks with the colors as they are. But I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to see if I can mix these, how many different shades of the colors I can get out of it. So basically how many colors, if you want to say it that way. Uh, and I'll do that with my liner brush, but um, I said I'm, I'm dying to have a play with gel paints. So let's see what they're like for a full nail cover. And I'll be uh, back in a second with some swatch sticks. Oh my word, look at these colours. We've got ultra pink, dynamic blue, and of course a white one. Uh, and this is a brand new brush. So I've got a tiny little bit of base coat on there while I was doing the base coat on the tips and then you just sweep it through the gel make it flexible it kind of conditions it gets it ready and then I'm not wiping it on a cloth or anything I'm just wiping it on a clean bit of palette and that's all ready to go so wipe that off And we're done. And then I can clean my palette, uh, clean my brush off on there if I need to. Right. I want to look at the coverage on this white for a start. Tiniest bit. Let's have a look. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Right. Wow, that is awesome. Now, when you're using something that's heavily uh, pigmented, you want to give it a very good cure. So, it says a full 60 second cure on these. Let's see how far that goes. Oh. <gasps> That's crazy. I love the brush as well. I think it's the best brush I've used. You know when you're doing a solid, uh, solid gel colour or something. You want something that's a little bit, have I caught that in the lamp now? Something that's a little bit flexible. And, uh moves with you that's awesome 
dynamic blue. <laughs> wow. I can't believe how far that tiny little bit goes. So a five mil pot's ample, isn't it? Because it's just going to go on forever, especially if you're using it for artwork with your liner brushes. But that's just covered. Uh, I'm sorry if there's a banging. I hope it's not banging too much. There's a door banging in the wind. Look at that! Wow, I'm impressed. So let me know if you've been using these gel paints, if you've got any colours that I really ought to look for. And uh, next time I'm shopping, let me know what your favourite ones are. Okay, we're going to do the colour mix challenge, right? So I want to see how many colours I can get out of this, or shades, should I say. So I've done four tips. There's two more in my holly lamp. So I've done four tips and I've done it with one of my favourite smelly cat. If, if, this is just the colour of and consistency of like double cream or heavy cream, I think you call it in America. Um, it's that sort of consistency and it, it's just beautiful. So, I want the white to stand out slightly, anyway, uh, and I wanted to complement the blue on the pink. So, I've got two for the pink and I've got two for the blue. Whether I don't use them or I need any more, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some white on the heart. This is my palette that Joe sent me. Isn't that lovely? Ooh. Um, so, I'm going to put some white on there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the blue. In fact, I don't need to put that on. Mm. No, I'm going to use my dotting tool. And I'm going to put little dots of the pink on and keep mixing it in. So, let's go for the white. Scissors. Get some out with this little random brush I've got. In fact, I'm going to turn that round because I want to stroke it towards me. So that's three scoops. That's quite a bit. And then I'm going to use my dotting tool. And I'm just going to put a little liner brush stripe all the way across it. So I'm going to go to music now. So I'll try and put you something on that'll keep you jolly, I think.
oh there they are out of the lamp i've top coated them and uh i just wanted to show that if you can get a full set of colors in anything that you're buying then that's absolutely fabulous but sometimes you can't sometimes you have to just buy a coupling a gel get your top coat get your base coat get your files get your other stuff you can't always go for all the colors so if not think about what you're picking because like when you see people do an ombre you can see that it makes another color where the two colors meet but you don't have to be doing an ombre to end up with those different colors you can mix it on a palette you could mix it with a little uh, palette scraper you know like you get on the back of a, a gel brush um, or you could mix it with a smaller brush and just mix it in a little round circle but i wanted to see the gradient you see so see how many i could get out of it but yeah you can mix so thank you very much madame glam for sending me these i've had right fun playing with them i think they're absolutely fabulous uh, and I can't wait to do a design where I'm actually painting the French with this. I am going to try an ombre uh, with a sponge as well. Um, but yeah, have fun shopping. Um, if you're treating yourself, let me know what you get. And that'll be great. Don't forget, there's the um, linked. Um, it's linked in the description box. And it's uh, Bitly, I think they call it. Uh, and that'll take you straight on to uh, putting my discount on, which is a 30%. Uh, and then you have to choose pay as you go rather than the VIP. And then you vouch your work. Um, so have fun. Enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, thanks, Madame Blam, for sending me these fabulous gel paints. See you soon. Take care. Bye.